Welcome to OFR. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you on how to assemble this MIC drawer unit from IKEA. For this build, you need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a hammer. You can also use a drill with a Phillips or Posi drive bit to speed up the assembly process. So the first step is to grab these two panels and put them into this orientation. Make sure these grooves are facing the middle and these pairs of holes are in this position. Then grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Now grab these two drawer slides and put them in this orientation. Also grab six of these small screws. In the instructions it says to separate the ends of the drawer slides, but I decided to do it in later steps. So for the left panel in the drawer slide, align both holes like this, then screw in the screw into this hole. Then screw in another screw into this hole. and then screw in one more screw to fully secure this drawer slide into this hole. Now go to the right panel and align both holes like this, then screw in the screw into this hole. Next, screw in another screw into this hole. And then finally, screw in the screw into this hole. Now grab six drawer slides that are marked with an L and an R and 12 of these screws. And go to this panel and place the drawer slides that are marked with an L on like this. After that's done, secure each drawer slide with two screws. The screws are going into these holes. Now go to this panel and place the drawer slides that are marked with an R on like this. Then secure each drawer slide with two screws. The screws will be going into these holes. Next, grab this bottom panel and put in this orientation. Also grab four wooden dowels. Then hammer in the four dowels into these four holes. Now attach the bottom and left panel like this. Then attach the right panel as shown. Next, grab four of the longer fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Flip the drawer unit onto its feet. Then slide in the backing like this. Now grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Then grab the top panel and put it in this orientation. Also grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes.
Now attach the top panel as shown. Then grab four more long fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Now flip the drawer unit over like this. Next, grab four of these plastic pieces and hammer them into these four spots. And don't worry if they aren't aligning properly when you're hammering them in. Now grab two casters that have the locking mechanism in them and two of these metal rods. Then secure these two rods into these two holes. When you hear a click, the rods are fully secured. After that's done, secure both casters as shown. Again, you should hear a click. Next, grab two casters and two metal rods. Again, first push the metal rods in, and then the casters. So now let's focus on the small drawer. Grab this front drawer piece and put in this orientation. Also grab two screws and screw them into these two holes. Then grab two side pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab two dowels and hammer them into these two holes. Now attach both side pieces like this. Then grab two small fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Next, put the bottom of the drawer on like this. Then grab this back piece and attach it as shown. Next, grab two plastic pins and hammer them into these two holes. Now place the drawer onto the ground as shown and grab yourself two corresponding drawer slides that are marked with a DR and a DL and four of these screws. Then go to the left side and secure the DL drawer slide using two screws. The two screws will be going to these two holes. Now repeat the same step for the DR drawer slide. Then repeat the same steps that are related to the small drawer two more times. Now let's focus on the big drawer. Place the front drawer piece in this orientation and also grab four of these screws. Then screw in the four screws into these four holes. Next, grab two of these side drawer pieces and put them into this orientation. Also grab four dowels and hammer them into these four holes. Now attach the two side drawer pieces like this.
Then grab four small fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Now grab the bottom of the drawer and slide it in like this. Then grab the back of the drawer and attach it as shown. Next, grab four plastic pins and hammer them into these four holes. Now flip the drawer like this, grab this metal piece, two screws that look like this, and one small pointy screw. Then secure this metal piece to the front of the drawer like this. First screw in both larger screws into these two holes, then screw in the pointy screw as shown. Next, grab a caster and secure it on like this. Again, you should hear a click. Now you'll need to unlock the ends of each bottom drawer slide. It's going to look something like this. Then put the bottom drawer into this position and place the two ends of the drawer slides like this. Next, grab six small screws and attach the ends of each drawer slide. Each drawer slide will need three screws. The screws will be going into these three holes. Then do the same thing to the other drawer slide. Now I put the drawer in this position to give you a better angle. So next you'll need four of these plastic holders and two hangers. First attach two plastic holders into these two spots. You may need to use a hammer to make it go fully in. Then insert the hanger like this. Now you have three places where you can attach the two other plastic holders. This depends on what type of papers you're going to hang. I went with the closest one to the front. Then insert the hanger as shown. Next, grab your three small drawers and place them into the drawer unit as shown. Then put the bottom drawer in like this. It should just lock into place. Now you should check that everything opens and closes relatively smoothly, but if you followed all these steps, then you shouldn't have any issues. So you now have a fully assembled MIC drawer unit from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.